Hey, I do believe I'm live. Hello once again, Internet. Wasn't sure if I was going to get around to streaming today, but... Uh, what can I say? What, what goes better with afternoon coffee than some Lovecraftian gothic horror? Alrighty, where were we? Um, I have been playing another file, so I have reminded myself of some things. Uh, because I was thinking, like, well, if I just progress, if I just progress a little bit further, then I'll get to where I need to. Uh, then I'll get to, um, I'll get access to uh, the choir and uh, what is it? The choir and. The other one. Oh, yeah, the the really fun one. Um. All right, so uh, let's see. So first, we need to make a pit stop at Yahargul. Wait, that's the wrong one. I want this one, Yahargul Chapel. We've got some business here because they have something of mine. And no wonder I never find it. I never explore this area. Oh, let's see. Um, I really should at some point start using shotgun weapons. I, just, I mean, I just never do enough. I thought it was the chapel. Is it the chapel? Exit the chapel, past the crazy ladies, and hang on. There it is! That's my whooping stick. That doesn't sound like a key. Hang on. That sounds more like a key. Upper Cathedral Key. That's the thing we wanted. Well, no reason to stick around here. occurs to me it would be fun since you have so much freedom with the character creator it would be fun to actually make a character who looks like a goblin and then use the whirly gig and the boom hammer just the finest in goblin engineering all right so um that gets us access. Um, as well, this is a perfect opportunity to go deal with some plot stuff. First, I want to check something real quick. Okay, so the, I did put the whirly gig at nine because I'm gonna cap out the boom hammer and the whirly gig if I can. I'm at least gonna get them both plus nine. see some weird shit, man. To the Cathedral Ward! Oh, lordy, I also need to... F 
Oh, lordy, I also need to finish Eileen's quest line, because that's the thing I can do now. Also need to go to Kanehurst, because that's the thing I can do now. I need to see if I have the... I think I have the Kanehurst invitation. Hmm. Since I'm running two files at the same time, I don't, I don't remember what I've done and what I haven't done. Hey, look! Lady's gone. Well, Lady seems to have exploded. There ain't no more civil yarns. Really, you didn't see anything? Nope, no comment. Okay, let me let me check on the Kanehurst summons. Okay, so I have the summons to go to Kanehurst. Well, this got dark. All right, well. I think there's only one humane way to deal with this. One third of an umbilical cord. Ariana's shoes. Very different prizes. <laughs> Now, Bloodborne is one of those games where there's not necessarily a way you can do it, and, like... Like... There's no really heroic way to get through the game. Let's see. I'll go through their descriptions one last time before before the end of the game because that's what that's what those items are for. Oh, that's right. I forgot about you. Don't spook me like that. Give you a taste of the whooping stick. Oh, the nightmare frontier. That's another area. That's another area that must be done. Again, I've been I'm playing two files, so I keep forgetting what I haven't done on one and what I have done on the other. I am further on the other one. Not by a lot. Alright, Grandpa! Grandpa just won't stop pointing a machine gun at me, so I have to subject him to the whooping stick.
right in the got him right in the chin. Cool, I didn't notice the Plague Doctor masks before. Open door with the upper cathedral key. Oh, I forgot to take a look at the... Let's take a look at that key. Key to the upper cathedral ward seal. The upper echelons of the healing church are formed by the school of Mensis, based in the unseen village and the choir, occupying the upper cathedral ward. This key brings one a step closer to the choir. Yeah, that really nebulous, like, uh, that really nebulous, like, beginning goal that we started the game with that slow, that very quickly turns into kill every monster in your way and just keep on pushing down every new path. Slug monster. Shit. Get us a little bit of that gothic horror back. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, please. Gentlemen. Hey, hey now, hey now. You're not allowed to use magic. It's not that sort of engagement. Ow. They did a lot. It's entirely unacceptable. Ow. Ow. Check the gems on this. I feel like it should be doing more damage. At plus nine. Oh, weird slug thingies. Durable slug thingies. Whop. Unabashedly darker uh, <clears throat> themes that Bloodborne delves into is uh, like its whole thing with the stillborn and stuff, hence the weird, the weird fetus slug monsters. hear what I need for a level? It does not. Poo! Ooh, the Boomhammer's plus seven. I thought it was plus eight. And now I am sad.
I don't have as many good uh, gems on this file as I do on the other one. Tis a damn shame. Oh, that's right, I was gonna see what Welcome I need to... What I need to level. Hey, I actually do have enough to... I actually do have enough for a level. Alright. First... Let's get my strength up to 30. Farewell, good mate. Here. Let's actually get rid of some of those... Gold bloods that are burning a hole in my pocket. I have this bad habit in the Souls games that I've played where I will just collect these things and hold on to them for dear life and and then by the end of the game I'm making so many souls grinding and stuff that I forget that they that I forget that I have all these items. Let's see how many levels I can eat out of these. Maybe maybe one more level worth. Oh, I'm sure that's two levels. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. Yeah. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, Upper Cathedral Ward. Odd to me that. Well. Never mind, I was about to make a comment, but then I realized it was a silly comment. And so I retract it preemptively. <sighs> I'm actually gonna use the I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give the blunderbuss a shot. See how well this works. See how well this works. Monsters. Nope. 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 Unacceptable. Nope. 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 They're not terribly aggressive, but if my memory serves me, they are uh, very tenacious. Baskets. They deal frenzy damage. They deal a lot of frenzy damage. Okay, this they just got a lot more threatening. Okay. With fire then. Onward and upward. Hello, sir. It 
might actually be prudent to go somewhere else first. Give me is squeeze in another couple couple levels in an area that's a little easier. Or at least find enough uh, find enough chunks to maybe get the boom hammer up to eight or nine. Let's see, did I... I have not gained access to Kanehurst yet. Okay, well... That gives us a destination. Let's go get at... Let's, let's, let's go explore Kanehurst a little bit. We've been having a lovely time with all of this Lovecraftian stuff. Let's, let's take a detour. Let's take a detour back into some gothic horror. Because that's what Kanehurst is. Kanehurst is... Kanehurst kind of pulls up out of Lovecraft a bit and points itself points itself back towards Gothic. Give you a little bit of the Castlevania. Whoopin' the stick! None can stand before the great wolfen stick. Not even old ladies. In fact, especially not old ladies. I forgot I was using the blunderbuss. Oh, it still doesn't do much damage. I always for I always forget that guns don't do much in this unless you invest in blood tinge. invest in blood tinge, then your guns can do like, stupid damage. I kind of wish there was a weapon in this game that was just like a bag of infinite Molotovs. Having a big old bag that like rustles and clinks all the time. Damn, I won the hell out of that trade. You just keep reaching into the bag and. Oh, hang on, I forgot. I always forget it's not an not an exam and it's a cutscene for Kanehurst.
some ghosty bullshit just went down. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. You see cold. And then Yep. Dead end frozen over. Long dead frozen horses. Like I said, some ghosty bullshit just happened. And I love it. Forsaken Castle Kanehurst. Uh-oh. I hate these things. to be done. Execute the maneuver pioneered by King Arthur himself. Running away. Spooky ghosts. Now see, the real question is, can I kill a spooky ghost with a chainsaw? The answer is yes, I can kill. I can kill anything with a, with a chainsaw. very much a technique to, you know, just the whole pushing the saw forward thing. It's like a certain angle that you push forward at. No, stop trying to stab me, spooky, you spooky ghost lady. You're not a spooky ghost lady, but you know what? I'm not taking the chances. He could have turned into a spooky ghost lady at, 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 at any moment. Reiter Palash. Reiter Palash? Something like that. 
A weapon wielded by the Knights of Canehurst combines an elegant knight's sword with a peculiar firearm wielded by the Canehurst Order. The, noble, the old nobles, longtime imbibers of blood, are no strangers to the Sanguine Plague, and the disposal of beasts was a discreet task left to their servants, or knights, as they were called, for the sake of appearances. my normal monster of a mistake and ran myself out of stamina. Ooh, bloodstone chunks. I like seeing that. More chunks means better boom hammer. Let's go to the Boomhammer Fair. I mean, it's lower level, but... Man, I was little, not, not as much as I'd like to hope. Not as much. Not as much as I would have hoped, is what I was trying to say. That's just a drop. Oh! in this chest. Address! I don't know if they're... They, they have footsteps. Are they even ghosts? This is suspiciously quiet. Wait a minute. implications. Like I said, uh, Kanehurst is a bit bit of a detour back into go more gothic. The boyo is just asking for a taste of the whooping stick. More bloodstone junks. Oh, that's fun. He actually sounds like stone moving. That's cool as shit. I never noticed that before. Boyo, oh, I see you.
Hello, good sir. Oh, is it to be a duel? Wow. Oh. Okay, well traded. Someone call my bringing of a shotgun to a sword uh, to. <laughs> Someone call my bringing of a shotgun to a duel unsportsmanlike. I prefer to think of it as creative. A creative interpretation of the rules. I feel like there are going to be gargoyles. First, I know there's a shortcut in here. Shortcut! Huzzah! Go check out that side path before we deal with the ghost to goos. Oh. Boy, I see you. Oh. Forgot about that. I was not aware that gargoyles were equipped with a sonic screen. Go figure. I wonder if Bolt is effective against these ladies. are running now. Is unacceptable. Nope, you're not allowed to do that. Ow! That is unfair. That is unacceptable. Manage. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to level the playing field by uh, liberal application of saw. Is that. Is he still hitting me? That is impressive range for a blow dart. 
It needs to be said. See, now it's a matter of honor. All of them have to be put down. More bloodstone chunk. Ooh, I can level up the boom hammer now. I'd forgotten how annoying those little guys are. Chunks? I didn't know they dropped chunks. This is us. Ooh. Oh. Shit. I don't know if I got those. Uh, on the other file I'm doing is an arcane build. Always leave them screaming for more. That sounded a lot better in my head. You know what? Let's just forget I said that. I found myself. Oh, that's right, one of my favorite shortcuts. This might be my favorite shortcut in all of Souls. And you will see why. Pull the lever. And it pulls the bookcase aside which reveals a path into the room that you just came from. But it gets better. Because it also reveals a ladder. That leads you up to where, I, where you have not been. If I'm not mistaken, there's a one of the little scurrying doodly bop thingies that drops uh, bloodstones up here somewhere. I was right! Yeah! More chunks.
bloodstone chonks. Might even be more somewhere around here, because I can hear that pitter-patter. The pitter-patter of little feet. Now, I'm not going to do the boss of this area right this second. Because it is... Frighteningly difficult, at least for me. I'm surrounded! <laughs> I'm surrounded, and then half the ambush party didn't do anything. I don't know whether I'm excited or disappointed. Here's where we get into some dubious, dubious platforming. I feel like I've had this dis- I feel like- did I do this on stream? I feel like I did this. I feel like I did this on stream. I'm having like the weirdest case of deja vu. As I've commented before on some of the more dubious platforming. Or was I thinking that's the kind of thing I need to bring up when I do the on-stream? I can't remember. I'm losing my mind. And there's not even anyone here listening to me lose my mind. I'm losing my mind and recording it for the ether. The great swirling ether of the internet. Old Hunter's Marks. Yep. Uh, that is a boss arena that always kicks my ass. So, since it just gave us some bold Hunter's Marks, we will use those Hunter's Marks. See if we can squeeze in another two levels, maybe? Um, level up the boomer hammer. Because I feel like that's why the... I feel like that's why the weapon is not doing as much as... I feel like it should be. Is because, uh... Of, because, I mean, I'm comparing it to the weapons I'm using on my other file, but I'm higher level on that file, because I have grinded a bit more on it. I want to get enough for two levels if I can. Ooh, this give a lot. Welcome, what is it? Good hunter, I sense the ancient echoes. Hmm. Very let me. All right, tall lady. Let's actually. Well, yeah. Let's go ahead and put it in strength. Farewell, good. I think I also have an abundance of really good gems uh, on my other file. Just from... Oh, that's right, it's an arcane build, which means I'm, I'm getting a whole bunch of... Uh... It, it's an interesting thing. If you raise your arcane, it, in, it increases your, uh, your item drop rate, and so I'm getting a lot of gems and stuff from monsters on my other file. Let's see, did I ever get the Yarnum or the Yahargul? That's what I was trying to remember. It 
Let's get myself looking. Let's get myself looking proper dapper. Let's see how this looks with the... I mean, I look swanky, but I, I need a better headpiece to go with it. Well, I look kind of silly. Gotta, I, I've got to have a good headpiece in here. Hmm. If that was like a really nice and shiny helm, I think it'd work. Damn, I don't have any good... I mean... That's going somewhere. Oh. I'll try to... I'll try to piece together an aesthetic... later. Let's get my hunter duds back on. Right. Level this one up. Alright, where do we need to go? Where do we need to go? Okay, we have the Nightmare Frontier. We have the boss of Kanehurst, which I'm going to wait until I'm higher level to fight, because that fight is a mess and I hate it, and it's awful. But I want to do that fight, because there's, like, some cool side questy stuff. Um, well, let's go ahead and take a look at... Yep, there we go functioning at this time. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, the end of Eileen's quest, um, because this involves a fight that is frankly stupid. I'm probably not going to stream as long because it started a little late, so I'm probably going to stop at about an hour and a half. Oh, the boys are back in town. That will lovely. Did I? I did. I did put another level in strength. Okay. Guess the level in strength and well, this is a different area too. I don't know how much stronger these enemies get as the night progresses. So. Woke the baby. It's okay, I handled it. Mischief managed. Turn back. My 
prey like to... Yeah, her prey happens to be, frankly, a bit of a stupid fight. Uh, I don't remember if this is a throwing... That's not what I meant to do. But I guess I've got five extra bullets. Um, let's see, is this a throw? It is a throw. Excellent. So, uh... This cheeky bastard. I'm going to cheese this fight. There it goes. Yes, you cheese this fight. You do not... Like, I know there are people out there who, who are gonna, like, talk, talk strats and, like, you know, how they beat this without cheesing, and that's great and all. That's great, that's awesome. If you can beat this, if you can beat this fight without cheesing, that's fine. But I kid you not, how they constructed this fight is they took an NPC hunter and capped all of his stats. Like based based on what I saw, I, I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's correct, but my understanding is that they uh, they took an NPC hunter and just capped his stats. To make the, I think he's called the Crow of Canehurst. Oh no, I'm on the wrong side of him. Look, buddy. Buddy. Ow! That's... no. That's better. I hit the wrong button. That was... That was the very wrongest button. <laughs> we have fun here. Oh, no bueno!
Well, that was fun. Don't you ever listen to your elders? Not if I can avoid it. No matter. You did save my life. I don't seem to be up for this life anymore. My glory days were long ago now. Badge. This too is Hunter's work, but it bears no honor. A burden you may choose to carry. The decision is yours alone. Oh. My eyes grow heavy. Let me rest a while. I'll be fine. Just wait. I'm fairly certain it's unclear whether she makes it out or not. I like to think she does, because she's a cool, tough old lady. Eileen ranks pretty highly on, uh... Eileen ranks pretty highly on the list of, like, Cool old, cool old lady characters. It's not exactly like a super huge list, but... But she ranks pretty highly regardless. <laughs> so yeah, that get, nets you the unlock for the Blades of Mercy. Um, I should get the stake driver. That's a fun weapon. Yeah, it's not expensive. Wait, do I have one? Is there a thing that shows me whether I have it or not? I feel like I might have one. I do not. I should get one. I'm, I've kind of got this theme going of, like, the finest in goblin engineering. So, yeah, the stake driver would be a welcome addition. I'll get that. Uh, but you also unlock the crow feather, crow feather gear. Which is a slick gear set. All right, so, um, oh, I'll go ahead and take a look at it since I'm thinking about it. Badge of a hunter of hunters. Uh, who hunts those who have become addled with blood. The badge of the hunter of hunters is quietly passed down from generation to generation, usually to an outsider from the hinterlands. To be entrusted with this cursed badge, one must be strong, resilient to the seduction of blood, and gracious when taking a comrade's life. So let's see, where was I? Um, upgrade, upgrading the stake driver. That's, that is first on the list. stop at six for now because I want to save my chunks for the boom hammer. Um, I think a little bit more exploration into 
the Nightmare of Mentis. Because there are things to be gotten. Secrets to be uncovered and items to be gotten, uh, including, I believe, some, uh, some bloodstones. God, I love the sparks. All right, so, firstly, there are items to be gotten in Mikalash's boss boss arena. Now that that raving dipshit is dead. It is kind of a fun touch that when you kill him, his concern is waking up, but it's like, he's dead. <laughs> he's like, I'll forget everything. It's like, boy, you'll be dead. Like, forgetting is the least of your concerns. This is like spookily quiet. Ooh, is that the thing I'm looking for? Is that the thing I'm looking for? Iron door key. Hooray! Of the three great br bridges that link the two cathedral cradles, this key opens the iron door that leads to the mid-level bridge. There are no thieves in the nightmare. Then why lock a door? Be warned, there must be a very, very good reason. Alrighty. So then I believe we want to continue downward. Or rather... We want to continue back. This place is a labyrinth. Chunks. Hello there. Yeah. More blood gems. We need to. We we need to push. We need to make the saw stronger. The saw must become mighty. That would be that, that would be poison. Ow! Stop with the poison. I was pretty sure it was a, a a rune, a moon rune. All righty, let's see if I can't find my way through. Those, if those guys are there, then that means I want to go here. Huzzah!
Now, uh, to those of you, because no one's watching at the moment, but to those of you who watch this in the future, cast your mind back to the weird spooky light, uh, to the weird spooky light that would uh, um, assault your brain. Oops, I keep going past it. Ooh, just barely. Yeah, so we are right near it, and you can actually see it a little bit there. So what we're going to be doing is... What we're going to be doing is snagging a couple shinies. And then bouncing for the moment. But. I have to make noises. This place is too damn quiet. There's not enough action at the moment. <laughs> What am I doing? I'm just running around, running, running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Okay, now that I have found that gate and opened it. Um, we have to do something about the brain, and then we can, uh, then we can make our way across that bridge. It is a bit of a task, though. Oh. Bird dogs, dog birds, bird dogs. Um... There's a different lantern that I want. There's a different lantern that I want. I want the base. Uh... Part of the reason I'm playing the other file and, like, keeping it a little bit ahead of this one is so that, um, like, I know it would be really fun for me to do this playthrough blind, but unfortunately that can't be done because I've already played through Bloodborne. And, you know, going in kind of halfway blind, you know, not remembering everything would be fun, but, uh... I figure it would also be nice if I'm not just beating my head against... Just beating my head against, uh... Fights and where to go. Because I want to try and hit as much as I can. Have I not hit that? Oh my god. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an, Im I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Shut up! I almost walked off the cliff. Or off the ledge. Okay, so I'm an idiot and forgot that I did not have uh, an elevator set up. I blame my other file. Out of my way. Out of my way, puppets. Puppets. Nope, dead end. Um... Let's see now, let's see. This looks like the way to go. Nope. Ow, good shot. They will never catch me. Oh, that's right. I remember now, because I got to this lantern, and then I pretty much called it for the night. More chunks! I... We're getting close to a level 9 boom hammer.
This is the thingy I wanted. Oh, that was... <laughs> well... Leon was killed by gravity. If I ever fell to my death, I would want that on my tombstone. I, I did not die, I was murdered by gravity. Okay, well... The good news is, is that elevator is now functional. I'm not sure. W I'm not sure why I thought I could make that. I think I might just be an idiot. The, I mean, this is this is this is an this is a, a possibility that we must consider. No prison can hold me. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> you have to successfully make it to the bottom. Okay, so I have learned something about elevators. That you have to successfully ride them. You have to successfully ride them all the way to their end point for them to be considered open. I have learned an important lesson today. And maybe I won't forget it. By the by, the next time. Boy, I feel stupid. Like I feel real stupid. Nope, I don't want any. Nope, nope. You're a bad shot. Leave me alone. Blood Echoes Retrieved. Okay. Now this time, I'm going to ride it to the bottom. See, that's where I need to jump off. For some reason, I was, like, past that and thought, like, I can jump off now. successful. The elevator is open now. now I'm going to start it from the top because I can see where to jump off a little better. Damn, that is a, that's a weird jump. Yes, game, I can see that. If it says device not operable, I swear to God, I might throw my controller at the screen. I might, I might do it. Might. I promise nothing, I promise nothing at this particular juncture. Thank you. 
It's coming. Okay, game, we need to have some words. Apologies to anyone watching this in the future. Um, since I'm since I'm streaming this, you get to you get to you get to sit through my uh, my delightfully entertaining, I'm sure, attempts at jumping into a flipping window after killing gods and monsters and slaying beings trudged up from the bowels of hell itself. You get to watch me being thwarted by a window. Okay, I'm gonna go hit something while I'm waiting on that, just for the sake of hitting something. What the hell? It, what the? This makes no sense to me. Like, do you have to be dead on? I did this in one try on the other file. I did exactly what I'm trying to do now. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna go make myself feel a little bit better by uh, plus nining the the boom hammer. This this doesn't make any sense to me. I feel <laughs> like I feel undone. No, not leave. Fortify. Boom hammer. Damn, 176 plus 261. That is... That is a lot of damage. Okay. I feel like this is going to be quicker if I just... I think it's going to be quicker if I just run. 
because I think that's part of the problem here, is that I have to keep riding the stupid elevators up and down. We did it. We're here. It's finally happening. Gross. Um, Alright, now shit's gonna get a little bit messy because there's a type of enemy over here. Ah, uh, there it is. Now, these lovely messes are called Winter Lanterns, which is about the coolest name for a fantasy critter. They have the interesting property of uh, doing the same thing the big old brain does. Big ol' mean, glowy light. I love this effect. Hang on. Yeah! It just looks cool when you have the... when you have the mace... when you have the whooping stick enchanted and then switch it to the saw form. It just looks cool. I know I've said it before, but damn, what a sight. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of complaints to be made about uh, Bloodborne from a story perspective, and I'm saying that in air quotes. I mean, Bloodborne is largely like... I mean, look at this. Now... I would say it's a somewhat different, a somewhat different argument in uh, uh, Dark Souls... But Bloodborne does not have a lot going on in terms of story. Um, and I, I have a tr tough time saying that the story is bad. Because I don't think that's the right word. Spiders. Forgot about these guys. I forgot about spiders being around here. Those are spiders with faces. <laughs> Those are spiders with faces and stupid haircuts. There's only one way to deal with spiders with stupid haircuts. And that is with goblin engineering. There's something to be said for going around, running around like this. I 
I have plenty of fire. Ah, here we are. Now that right there is the big old brain that keeps causing us so many problems. I'm now going to do something about those problems. By way of cutscene. Into the dark with you. We have defeated the brain. Spiders. And a winter brain. Winter lantern. Lantern brain. Handily, that drop puts us right at the opposite end of that bridge. Well, we first came out and looked at the, the crazy evil brain. And we get lots of insight items. Now there's an interesting thing where, and it's part of the reason why the why the Winter Lanterns are so much trouble right this second, is because the higher your insight, the, the more susceptible you are to Frenzy. From a fun perspective, I'm not exactly a huge fan of Frenzy. eyeballs growing around like barnacles blood rock we got a blood rock now boyos we're in business Where do this go? To the hunter's dream. Let's go plus 10 a weapon. Let's make it happen. Yeah! Oh yeah, of course we'll take the Hunter Rune.
We now officially have a plus 10 weapon. And it feels good. Alrighty. So, um, I think that's a good place to stop for this evening. Um, because I can I can feel that I'm pretty tired. Uh, and I started a little late anyway. I will, uh, maybe, maybe be on, uh, Saturday, uh, this coming Saturday. Uh, it depends on other plans. But I will be on, uh, barring, like, barring unforeseen circumstances, I will be on, uh, around 3 o'clock next Sunday. And we'll see, see about wrapping up some of these late game areas. Uh, let's see. I've wrapped up quite a few of the side quests, too. Uh, that's Ariana's side quest. Uh, Eileen's side quest. We wrapped up Yosefka. So, late game areas and DLC. We're... Uh, we're starting to get towards the end game, and I'm and I mean I'm I'm dawdling a lot too. If I really wanted to, I could probably bang out the rest of the game this evening if I was super compelled to. But I'm not. Uh, so I will see. Uh, since no one hopped into the chat, uh, I was gonna say something regarding chat, and I can't remember what it was. Um, but yeah, to anyone who watches the, uh, the uploaded, uh, the uploaded VOD of this, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next week, uh, next weekend, and I suppose that's all. Have a great evening.